Hi, I'd like to talk about breathing. Now we do it to stay alive. It's a natural thing, but for brass playing, um, there's a little bit more to it. Now, if you've uh, watched the five basic videos, especially the backswing, you would see the importance of getting the energy in the body by taking a correct breath. Um, but to go into a little bit further detail, I'd like to um, get you to do a couple of exercises uh, to start and understand what the body is doing. Now, the backswing can be quite an expansion throughout the whole system, but what I want to do is actually start and get um, the breathing down lower in the body for the start of the breath, and that requires releasing um, the lowering the diaphragm, but we do that by the, in the way of releasing the abdominal muscles and letting them sort of basically where your belly button is hang out. So when when uh, you release the abdominal muscles, uh, you've got the abdominal muscles, you've got the diaphragm sits on top, then you've got the rib cage on top of that. So I want you to imagine that when you release the abdominal muscles, the, uh, the diaphragm is like basically a plunger. The abdominals are the springs, then you've got the plunger, and the plunger goes up within the rib cage. Now, if I can get you to understand how to operate the springs, which is the abdominal muscles, then we'll be able to get the diaphragm all the way down, which allows you to fill up the bottom of the lungs. Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do is put your left hand on your navel, on your belly button, and your right hand underneath that, and then push and push all the air out until you're completely empty. Now you'll feel that grip. Now keep your throat nice and relaxed and open. Now once you release the pressure from your hands, I want you to let your belly fall out. Now that can feel quite weird for a lot of people. Um, we wear belts and tight pants and all that sort of stuff, so we're not used to letting our belly hang out. But what I want you to do, after you've pushed in, let your hands release and let your belly fall out because that's as i said that's letting the abdominal muscles come out it's dropping the diaphragm so you're filling up the lower part of your lungs in any breath we want to start by doing that release of the navel so if you try it a few times you push press in hold it until you're out of air push your hands right in then when you release your hands, let your abdominal wall fall out and let it fill up. Now, it's instantly opening up a vacuum in your body because there's a bigger space now, the diaphragm's dropping, so there's this vacuum that air has to go into. So it's a natural, okay, by doing nothing except relaxing muscles, which is quite a nice thing to be able to get some energy for nothing. So in order to improve your efficiency, you want to get the body to do as much as it can naturally and this is one of the major things so put your hands on your belly button left hand and belly button right hand underneath it push your air out until you're empty then release your hands and you can hear the air come in now i still haven't taken any breath up into the chest um, there are different schools of thought as to breathing i've had roger ingram in my room, in my studio here going, well, if you've got to play lead trumpet for Harry Connick Jr., you need to get all the compression in your body that's possible. But the very first step, regardless of whether you do that, I've seen Jim Manley, an amazing, fantastic trumpet player, and he just keeps everything nice and low. Um, the compression is, uh, you know, it comes from the abdominal muscles. Um, but as, as Roger goes, if you need to play these long, high, extended, loud lines, you need all the air and energy in the body that is required. So neither of these guys are right or wrong, um, and there's a lot of thoughts about it, but the basic fundamentals are, whether you're taking a small breath or a, a, a really deep breath, um, the release of the, abdomen, of the belly button there, of your navel, is the first step. Now then, if you want to get into a compression breath, pull the belly button straight back in, and this is where we get into Bobby Shue's wedge breath, is that the navel comes back into the spine. Now there's your locking compression there, so from the release to pull the belly button back in. Now they're both intakes of air, you've got it there, you've got the compression in your body, then on top of that you've purely got um, volume of air. 
Now I can lift right up, but check out what happens to my voice. Now most people choke off and push too hard and really strain their body. You don't need to do that. Um, you just need to get the, the air in and get the compression from the abdominal muscles. And I've got all the, uh, the energy there that's required to play all over the instrument. So the steps are push the belly button in. Release the air. Okay. Release the hands. Okay, so that's the first step of a breath. Then if you want to keep more air coming in, pull the belly button back in. That's going to give you big compression to be able to play in, in the upper register. Then fill up. Take more air in. Now just sit on the air. You can feel that the, um, the abdominal muscles are supporting the rib cage. Now Claude Gordon says play with a, a raised rib cage. And these schools of thought can often come across as quite contrary. Yet at the same time... Um, we are expanding the rib cage. Now the, uh, the issue perhaps can be if you expand your ribs too far forward, you're going to arch the lower part of your spine and you'll get, a, you'll get a curve in that. Now when you're getting compression, you want your spine to be exactly straight. So that's why um, we want to breathe straight up. So there's breathing straight up, keeping your spine straight. And don't bend back too much at all. Now, mind you, what I'm talking about here is for, for big compression in the upper register. Now, you don't need to get all this massive compression in um, to play in the lower register or even medium uh, up to, say, a high C and D and E even. Um, so if you get the backswing but you allow that bottom part of the breath to release, the bottom part of, you know, from your navel, when I do the backswing, the very first thing that happens is the release of the navel. Um, so you want to really feel that fall out. You want to really become aware of your machine, your breathing apparatus, and notice how it does relax. Now, if it's just, um, if you're just breathing up to the chest, now apparently, um, in general terms, from scientific studies done, women breathe quite shallowly in their chest and men are more likely to breathe down low but not fill up in the chest so we actually need to do both to get the you know, the most benefit um, but any breath I take I instantly feel my belly moving outways the navel moving outways even though I'm filling up with air okay and then if I'm going to play in the high register pull it back in then fill up and I'm ready to go Okay, go through those steps um, and you'll start and recognize what your abdominal wall is doing. So to recap, left hand, belly button, right hand below, now push all of your air out. Then release your hands and allow the abdominal wall to fall out and just take some air in. Now it's not a full breath there, it's not like 100% of your breath, it's just an amount of air based on the release of the abdominal muscles. That's the first step, the release there. And I do that no matter what breath I'm taking, whether it's just a, a backswing for regular playing or a, a real compression breath for the upper register, um, every time I release the navel. And then the second step is to push again. you're empty then release hold then push hold it you'll feel your abdominal muscles working and then release it again get used to that sensation that's the first part of the breath okay I hope that helps now check out the site feel free to um, send me any video requests or um, yeah basically enjoy your practice and enjoy the trumpet ciao